at the plate. This one's lined past Masonia, right center field. Uh-oh, extra bases. Rounding third is Lanford. They're going to wave him home. No, here comes the throw. Yes. Here comes the throw. They got him. <laughs> Holy smokes. And this one belongs to the Trojans. Hush my mouth. Wow, what a relay throw. Lanford gets cut down at the plate. I thought they wouldn't even make the throw. Matt Sanders with a superlative relay, and Lanford was out. 8-6-2, wow. Barry, on that put out. What a relay by Sanders. Give Thomas the base hit, and Lanford is cut down at the plate. Trojans win it 2-1. to one. Who, Like Bobby Pierce mentions, he has had a career as a starter. Runner bluffs, this is a double play ground ball to Masonia. Flips it to second for one. Fuller's turn is in time. Second double play turn by the Trojan infield to get out of the third. Logan Hill stands in with runners on the corners. He will hit it uh, through the left side. Again, some confusion there. Uh, both the, the infielders over there just stopped. That wasn't hit particularly hard, but it trickles into left field and Hill drives in the, the go ahead run, the first run of the game. It's one to nothing Troy. Instead, it'll be a double play chance. Baker will boot it, get it to second. The return will not be there. In fact, they, the throw will go wide, and the Trojans will score another run. So what looked like a routine double play ball for the Eagles turns in to another run for the Trojans. One, two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. In the eighth inning for Georgia Southern, no runs, no hits. Two errors, one left. Bottom of the eighth in Troy, still Troy 2, Georgia Southern 1 on the Troy Sports Radio Network. Yeah, and that's why I mentioned that that, that was a possibility. Um, the way the two games played out on Saturday, neither, neither team had to get deep in the, the premium part of their bullpen, so everybody was available for both clubs. And with that being the case, you know, unless somebody rocked the starters, uh, which both starters' numbers didn't, didn't appear to say that was going to happen, uh, I felt like it would be a close ball game that would be won or lost on execution. And, uh, you know, they gave us some opportunities, made a couple of defensive mistakes. I thought we might capitalize a little bit more on, couldn't quite do that. They made some great pitches when they had to. Uh, came down to a, a great pitching performance by Lucas Brown, which is what we'd hoped to get. Uh, and then Jeremy coming in. Um, I, I don't know that the runner should have been on first base when that ball was hit, but we sure did execute that play well with Clay Holcomb cutting it off before it got to the wall, throwing a strike to Max Sanders. Matt Sanders throwing a strike to Trip Calhoun, who was decoying the runner, so a lot of things went in our, our favor on the last play to win the game. But an exciting game, an exciting series, uh, one that you all know we desperately needed to win, and uh, we found a way to get that done. Hopefully we can continue the momentum through uh, this week of practice without a midweek game set up, uh, balance it out with some practice and some rest, uh, trying to get you ready for uh, Little Rock next weekend.